Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina and welcome to another Tina time. Now, I was not planning on doing another Tina time that soon after my first one. I'm just opening my advent calendar. Um, but, oh, we have little bells. Uh, because I just did one two days ago. What day is it? Am I uploading this on the 16th? It is the 16th today. Am I uploading it for yesterday or for the day? Well, well, no. Oh, damn it. Mm. Upload one this week. Oh, little stars. Mm. There we go. Mm. And I wanted to upload the next one. In like a month or something. About how I met Josh Devine. But something happened this week. That had me so enraged. But some, anyway, something happened this week that got me so enraged that I even went to Twitter and had a rant. But I thought that's not enough. I want to make a video about this. So, as many of you may know, uh, the Dunkirk trailer, <laughs> Dunkirk, Dunkirk, listen, I'm gonna say this many times in a very wrong way because I have no idea what it is. Um, the trailer for Dunkirk the movie came out, link below, it's amazing. And I was, it was first, that's a lie, it was Wednesday, and I was in the library because, you know, up here entertaining children, whatever. Um, and I logged into the Wi-Fi, went to my YouTuber, YouTube subscription, sub, subscription, subscrip, subscrip, pro. Um, and I'm subscribed to movie clips and I saw it I was like how did I not know that but I wasn't on Twitter uh, for like a long time and it was only uploaded half an hour ago I was like, okay maybe, maybe many people haven't seen it so I watched it and went on Twitter but no one was talking about it I was like why is no one talking about the trailer because as you all know Harry Styles from One Direction is in there mm. and then I tweeted about like how is no one talking about this and then a girl tweeted me it's like no no many people are and it's like you're the only one in my timeline who's talking about it and listen i know i followed loads of marvel fans ever since i joined the marvel fandom but i know from back in the day like from a year ago basically i follow hundreds of one direction fan accounts why is no one tweeting about it also many update accounts and so it's just really confused why no one was tweeting about it so yeah um anyways but then suddenly my twitter timeline got filled with tweets tweets um that weren't from my mutuals or my f people i follow but someone retweeted them and i happily unfollowed this person after they retweeted these tweets because all of these tweets were about how the Rectioners are only hyping Harry and only excited for this movie because Harry is in it and that got me so mad and there's a couple of points I want to make to you so it's gonna be a long rant so grab a, grab a mug of tea get comfy because oh boy you've got a storm coming point number one We'll start with something that's probably enraging me the most. People saying Harry did not work as hard on this movie as other people. Guys, this is a Christopher Nolan movie. Do you really think he would hire anyone that's not fitted for the movie? For the movie? No, he's Christopher Nolan. He has amazing movies out um, he, his movie would get big anyway, so he did not 
hire Harry so there would be people watching. He's Christopher Nolan. Number one. Number two. Christopher Nolan himself and other actor act actors in the movie have told the media how hard Harry was working and how Harry went to the exact, like, through the exact same audition process as everyone else. Even if Harry was just hired for being Harry Styles, he worked his, uh, himself up to the point where people would say, hey, let's hire Harry so this would get big. Just saying. Don't ever call anyone in One Direction not hardworking or I'll come personally up to you and slice your throat. And trust me, I've been watching Criminal Minds, I know how no one will ever find your body. So number one, Harry is hardworking. Harry worked just as hard as anyone else on this movie. So, next point. People telling me and other people how to feel about the movie, the trailer, Harry in a movie. There were people saying, you're, on you're only watching this movie because of Harry, you're only helping Harry, you don't even know what happened in Dunkirk, whatever. Um, and like, I can't believe you're only focusing on this two seconds that Harry was in the trailer. How dare you to tell me and other people how to feel about this trailer, about this movie, about Harry in a movie, Harry as an actor. Don't you dare okay i watched the movie i felt super proud because it's harry in there i nearly lost my shit if it wouldn't have been in a public place when i saw harry drowning i felt super proud i was super excited i'm super excited to watch this movie because harry's in it deal with it okay you can't tell me that's wrong you can't I know it's gonna be an amazing movie, but to be honest, I would know nothing about it. I would not probably be interested in it if Harry wasn't in it. Get over it, okay? You, I'm not the only person, and Harry's not the only person I would do this for. There's movies I've watched only because Sebastian Stan is in it. So what? I have the right to do so. Don't tell me how to feel about things, and how to feel about actors, and how to feel about people, how I feel about movies. Just don't. Also, by saying, oh my god, have you seen that? Have you seen Harry drowning? Have you seen Harry killing the highlight game with the sweat in that shot? Doesn't mean we don't appreciate the whole trailer. We are hyped for the whole movie. We're not just hyped for Harry in a movie. And yes, there are gonna be fangirls who are stupid enough and will probably squeal in the movies. But not all of us are like that. So don't tell every pe every person you see in a timeline to shut up about Harry because it's not only about him. Which brings me to my next point. Why are you only getting hyped about Harry? Why are you not getting hyped about Tom Hardy, the movie itself, whoever else is in it? Why should we? Are we fans of Tom Hardy? No, I don't even know who that is. I know there's one guy who played in Batman in this movie. Is it Tom Hardy? I don't know. I know there's one called Cillian or whatever. I'm not a fan of them. Why would I get hyped for that? It's like telling me when I get hyped for Thor, yeah, are you getting uh, hyped for Loki? No, I don't like Loki. Why would I get hyped for him? I don't want to see him. It's like asking Marvel fans, why are you not getting hyped for Sharon Carter in Civil War? No one likes Sharon Carter in Civil War. Everyone is like, that case is awkward. Why would I hype it? I'm not a fan of it. Why would I hype Tom Hardy when I don't even know who he is? Of course I'm gonna hype Harry. It's, I'm a fan of Harry. Why would I hype anyone else? If there would be Harry Styles and Sebastian Stan in it, I would hype Harry Styles and Sebastian Stan. I would not hype whoever the f*** else is in this movie. Get it? I'm not a fan of these people. Yes, I appreciate their work. Doesn't mean... Like, just because I'm hyping Harry doesn't mean I don't appreciate them. I do. I think this movie is going to be brilliant. But I'm a fan of one of the people, so let me hype it and let me be excited about this person being in a movie. <sighs> I'm... Uh, this is making me so upset. If you couldn't tell. <sighs> Anyways. So, the next point is people not appreciating that it's a war movie, people not knowing what 
don't kick his I uh, don't, don't, don't kick don't whatever it's called. I've seen headlines. Harry Styles fans getting excited for Don Kick, not if don't know what the Don Kick is. How dare you? First of all. Second of all, what kind of crappy journalism? And third, I mean, I don't I have no idea what happened there. I'm gonna be honest. I might have learned about it, but I know my history teacher, all of them, were crap. That's out there. I know nothing. I, I've read books in the history lesson. I've said front, front row, my teacher talked so quietly, I could not understand that, uh, uh, I could not hear and understand a word he said. I was reading books, I was not paying attention. Maybe we learned it, maybe we didn't even do it. I don't know. I have no idea. But I'm just because Harry's in the movie about it, there's I'm sure there are people who educate themselves about it. But there's also people who don't, and that's completely fine. So what? I'm gonna watch the movie, maybe that gets me interested in it. But don't think you're a better person just because you know what happened. Because you aren't. But that's the same when Marvel fans think, like the one portion of Marvel fans think they are better because they are reading the comics. I've never seen their comics, I'm a super fan of Marvel and the MCU. Doesn't mean I'm less a fan just because I don't read the comics. And doesn't mean you're more of a fan because you do. Anyways. And the same with Dunkirk. Doesn't mean you're a better fan or you can appreciate the movie more than me just because you know what happened there. I'm not gonna google it, I'm not gonna watch, uh, look it up. Maybe I will after I watch the movie, but I highly doubt it. I've seen many war, war movies, I've appreciated them, but I... It's a movie! Okay? Great. Also, people have told me I can't cry if Harry dies. Well, not me personally, but like, I've seen tweets. I can't cry if Harry dies. I have cried over extra dying. I cry at the end of Toy Story, all of them, but mostly three. And you are gonna tell me I cannot cry when one of them character dies in Dunkirk? I don't think so. Yes, I'm gonna cry over Harry. What are you gonna do about it? Escort me out of the movies? <laughs> no, you won't. There will be many people, also not Harry Styles fans, who will cry if he dies, if they have an emotional attachment to it, to him, or to his character. And I know I will, because I already know his character will probably be one of my favourite, because he's portrayed by Harry Styles. Deal with it. I really need this tea to calm me down. I'm... Also, I'm sick, so I can't really breathe. My back hurts. My face hurts. It's oh, it's tough. It's tough. And it's just oh, the whole thing is just so sad because it's not just people from outside the fandom attacking the fandom like directionists. No, it's even people in the fandom who think they are better because oh you don't even know what it is about. So what? Leave me alone. I don't understand why people in the fandom have to attack other people in the fandom when. Instead, we could be celebrating this awesome trailer and this awesome movie directed by one of the best directors around at, at this time. Why? Let us celebrate it. Let us... Oh. Especially in the fandom. Let's just appreciate Harry in it. Let's just appreciate the 0.7 seconds he is in this trailer. Instead of fighting each other just because Oh, you don't know what it's about, and oh, you are only watching this because of Harry. <sighs> like, I had a... A... Not really a discussion. I had a conversation with a friend, um, a Twitter mutual... Hi, Era. I don't know if you're watching this. Um, because I really dislike Peggy Carter in the Captain America. I'm drawing, drawing many parallels there, but it's just because I'm a fan of both. Um, I really don't like Cap um, Captain America, Perry Carter from the Captain America trilogy. Oh, well, she's dead in the third one, finally. Um, and I really dislike her. I skip her scenes in the Civil War and uh, the Winter Soldier. I would in um, um, the first Avenger, 
if she wasn't in the whole freaking movie, which really annoys me because I don't like her. And she loves Peggy Carter. She has some things that she, dislike, that she dislikes about her, but she loves her. And I have some things I love about her, but I dislike her. And we had a normal conversation about it. I agreed with, agreed with her on some points, she agreed with me on some points. And that's how it is. You don't need to hate on people just because they support Harry. And also, that brings me to a completely different point, unrelated to the Dunkirk. I'm gonna leave that behind. Just stop hating on each other and stop hating on people just because they find it awesome that Harry's in it. Just focus on the good points and get excited about the movie, which is gonna be awesome and can't wait. Anyways, um, I don't know why... <sighs> Listen, boys. Hating on One Direction and when someone asks you about them and you're like, oh, they're gay, they're ooh, they're shit, doesn't make you bigger, doesn't make your muscles grow, it just makes you more of a man, okay? Have you got that? Good. Now that we have got that down, I don't understand who implanted it in boys' brains, mostly boys, there's also some girls, that they have to hate One Direction and other artists that are big, mostly with girls. That's what happened with Justin Bieber. Just so you know, this Justin Bieber what do you mean? is still the same as this Justin Bieber Baby. that you hated. And I don't like Justin Bieber, Bieber either. But when someone comes up to me and is like, hey, what do you think about Justin Bieber? I don't think, I, I don't say, oh, he's gay, I hate him. No, the only person I will say I hate is Megan Trainor, but that's because she said that anorexia is a phase. I'm sorry for that. I know you really like her, but no. But like, I don't understand it. Like, when people come up to me, like, what do you think about Justin Bieber? It's like, I like some of his songs, like, sorry, love yourself, what do you mean? I really, they, those are bops. I love these. But him as a person, I don't agree with it. And I was a believer at one point. Before we came in direction, I was a huge believer. But now I don't agree with him on everything he does. And that's okay, I don't have to. But don't degrade someone's talent just because society tells you it's not a boy thing, it's not a girl thing. My brothers always try to change the topic when I'm talking about One Direction, roll that when I'm talking about One Direction, whatever. But when I get ready to One Direction music, I hear them whistling along, humming along, singing along. And I'm not talking about like Drag Me Down and the newer stuff. My brother had it going to save you tonight from the Upper Night album, which is an old song. I don't even know where he heard it and why he knew the words, but he knew it and he went lit to it. And I'm like, why can't you accept that they, these are talented people that you don't have to hate? I'm not saying when you don't like the music, okay, then say, when someone asks you, hey, what do you think about One Direction? Just say, they are talented people, I know they're huge right now, but that's not my kind of music I listen to, that's not my genre of music. That's completely fine. Whatever, no one, no one seems insulted, but don't insult someone's music taste just because society tells you to. And because society tells you, boys shouldn't like One Direction, basically. Just don't. There's many boys who do like One Direction, and that's awesome. But that's one thing I really watch out for. One thing, if you take out your uh, cell phone while we're at the cinema, don't even think I'm gonna, like, I want to be friends with you. I hate people like that, just saying. And second, if you roll your eyes when I'm talking about something, if you, if I'm mentioning One Direction, which I do a lot because I'm passionate about them, and you go like, yikes, or whatever, no, I will never propose to meet you again. Never. Because if you can't accept what I'm passionate about, what's important to me, then why would I want to meet with you when you only degrade my passions? And I had this person in my life a few weeks ago that had her phone out in the movies, that always rolled her eyes when I talked about Bucky the way I do because I'm passionate about him and always said yikes when I talked about One Direction and thought she was better because 
she knew all about the Marvel comics. Guess who's not saved in my phone anymore? Okay, Twitter is not loading. I don't know. I wanted to reach out my Twitter rant. I will just put it here. But yeah, just <sighs> my point is basically let's just get excited for the Dark Cake movie. Let's stop hating each other just because some people are excited for Harry only and some people are mad because I understand that some people are mad because not everyone grasps that it's an historical event. I think everyone does, but not everyone appreciates it the same way. But that's okay. Let's just get excited for it. It's going to be an awesome movie. And yeah, and just, again, boys, girls who think it makes them cooler to insult things that they're not a fan of, it doesn't, so just stop. Just appreciate each other and just be happy and be happy for the person that has found something, like One Direction, like Justin Bieber, like maybe Megan Trainor, even though I wouldn't understand it, like Marvel, like whatever that makes them happy, that has the ability to make them happy and enjoy life instead of hating them and making them feel like they're doing something wrong by liking it. So yeah. I hope I make any sense, I just had to get it out. <sighs> Anyways. I hope you like this Tina time. Even though it was very different than the last one. <laughs> um, but yeah. I will see you today again because there's two videos coming up because I forgot to put up one yesterday but yeah I hope you liked it um I hope I'll see you soon I hope I'll see you in the next video um give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you want to see more of Tina time and other videos I do drawing videos video edits um I do tags I do all kinds of stuff really I that channel doesn't what is channel level will be is a beauty channel because I didn't even bother to do my hair and makeup for this so anyways love you lots spread love no hate and I will see you soon bye